You're listening to the Bus Proof Business Podcast, taking your business to the next level by taking you out of it. With our experience and proven results, we'll help you find the success that many crave, but only we can help you achieve. It's time to get started with your host, Greg Murphy. Hey guys, it's Greg Murphy, and thank you so much for being with me today. Now, I have a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on that I wanted to share with you guys, and thank you for letting me be in your ears today to talk about that. Now, um, first off, I don't think we've we've really been able to do much of a breakdown from Busproof Live. It's just been so crazy around here, all the things we're working on. But uh, but yeah, Busproof Live was amazing, and if you if you ever want to be part of something like this, may, maybe even not here, um, if if you know if you're not thinking about uh, going further with books, conferences in general are so amazing because of the networking that can be involved. But but especially here, uh, and honestly, I think it's it's a unique place in the world that so many people that um, are into books and we get to see how we're all progressing over the years and how we're getting bigger and how we're doing more and we've been doing this for years now and it's just so amazing so if you guys ever can the next time we talk about bus proof live definitely come and and check it out uh we we did have a blast it was a great time people came from all over the country and uh i'm i'm sure you know we we told people we said hey if you're not completely happy if you came and you don't think this is, you know, uh, some amazing money to spend to come here, we'll give you your money back. And no one did that. And I certainly didn't expect them to. But anyway, so also I want what the big thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today was the free bus proof workshop that we have going on. Now, we know we're starting to uh, every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's one of the reasons I'm I've been making a ton of podcasts. Um since I, you know, since I've been back working on this stuff, is because every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, we we're doing a crowdcast where it's something live. I'm hanging out with you guys and we're talking about what's been going on and what we're working on, and it's been pretty amazing. So uh, as always, you can go to busproofworkshop.com and see what we're working on. But this week in particular is pretty amazing because we have uh, going on our first ever bulk books workshop. It's a week long thing that's that that's happening. If you haven't signed up. Uh, go to bulk books. Uh, oops, let me think here. Yeah, go to busproofworkshop.com. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, I edit that out before we put it live. But, but yeah, go to busproofworkshop.com, and that's going to get you uh, where you need to go. And basically, that's always going to be the link you're going to want to check out. Um, busproofworkshop.com is always going to take you to what we're working on and what we're excited about. That's always the the place you want to go. But anyway, so. What we're doing with the workshop is we're setting it up to where we're going to go through as much bulk books knowledge as I can fit into a week. Um, we're going to try to cover for that week. And um, people are really excited. About a thousand people so far have signed up for it. And um, I'm really excited to add you to that list. Okay. So go d- definitely make sure and come over and check out. Uh, busproofworkshop.com so you can um, get all that latest information of what we're working on. In addition to that, um, so I, I I wanted to go over basically the six kinds of booksellers that I think that there are in the world. And we covered that in the first session of the, of the workshop. Um, basically, real quick, so that you guys can sort of understand um, what we're talking about, and so you know, we can do a little bit of short a shorthand with it. The sheriff is the first type of bookseller, and the sheriff are the guys that they go around. They have their beats, you know. They go around their neighborhood, just like I think about Sheriff Bullock from the um, from Deadwood, right? Uh, probably with less of a dirty mouth, right? But uh, yeah, he goes around. He has his beat. He's home for dinner every night. He um, goes to the same places over and over again. He sort of knows his territory. He's going to the local bookstores or thrift stores or wherever all the time in his neighborhood. And uh, that's basically how the sheriff works. The ninja are the people that they sell all kinds of stuff, not just books. They sell all sorts of things. Um, They're just trying to, you know, whatever they can make some money on. And uh, they're not necessarily into books, and they don't have as stable of, of a route. They might, you know, go to some of the larger book sales. They might drive a little while, 
to do that. But the the yeah, the Ninja, those guys are doing some retail arbitrage. They're going to some Walmarts and stuff, not just books. Those are the guys that that we're talking about in Ninja. And we go into more of this in the in the in the and you go to Busproof Workshop. We we go into more of this stuff. It, it's about a an hour long presentation that we give there, not just on this, but on stuff in general. The next guys are the gypsies. Now, um, and we say that in the kindest way. Um, my really good friend Teresa Baker, I met her, shoot, I don't know how many years ago, at a book sale in maybe Indiana or Illinois. I can't remember. No, no, maybe it was that big, huge one, the million or two million book one, somewhere, it was far. And I met her for the first time. And at the time, she basically was in a truck. Like she was, she would caravan all around the country. And uh, I called her the gypsy then. And apparently there's lots of those folks, right? They, I know people that get campers, old retired couples that will, you know, they get a, a big camper and they'll drive around to the book sales and make their money and send it into FBA and then just kind of, you know, go, go across America that way. And there's worse ways to see the country than that. And so these guys, the gypsies, are the ones that are going all around the country. They're going to the, all the big major book sales. I love the big book sales, um, but it's just not efficient for what we try to do. Um, then there's the quant, right? And when we think of that, we think of the guys that are at home and, you know, on their computers uh, buying books online using software, using, you know, whatever, either doing web crawls, building their own stuff, using stuff like uh, Caleb Roth, Flip, things like that. Uh, so those guys, the quants and, um, yeah, I mean, to me, it, that's not super my style. I mean, I, I always talk about how I like to have a low information diet, right? And that is true. Uh, because I, th you know, I just think that I'll make it up in volume, right? <laughs> so the way I do it does not, does not lend itself to all those kind of, all those different data points. I'd prefer to just move on, you know, but again, um, I'm also not as smart as these guys. So that might be the reason. Uh, the next type, number five is the professor. These are the guys that are doing a lot of the stuff, you know, I think a Nick, Nick Jump here. He's out there buying books from professors, um, building relationships. The thing about the professor is that they um, have the closest thing from everybody we've talked about so far, well, for the most part, of having uh, a, a real, I say, you know, quote unquote, real business because they have assets that are not dependent upon Amazon in a big way, right? Because they can, they're building relationships with with their uh, clients, where they're buying books year after year, they're building a brand, their brand equity with these clients and with these professors and stuff, the people that they're buying from. So that's something that I really think is pretty amazing, and it's interesting to me. Um, it's much. The thing about it is that there's no there's no shame in the game. I'm not trying to yuck anybody's yum. You know, do what you want to do, H however you want to sell stuff. Hustle, right? That's that's the big thing, right? But my, my issue, what I want to do for myself is I want to build something that's mine, right? That's not dependent upon, that's not platform dependent. You know, the, what I, the way I see books as being, the book industry is amazing. It's treated me super well and it's continuing to. But I, I'm moving away from Amazon being a primary motivator in how I structure my business and what I'm doing. And the thing with the professors is that they're, they're, they'll be able to do that as well. They have equity. Their customers are theirs. That's, that's the basic point of the whole story, right? Is that for the professor, their customers, their suppliers, you know, their clients, it's theirs. You know, whereas um, for the other guys, it might not be quite that way where you're, you're base, everything's based upon Amazon versus versus based upon um, relationships that you can build, okay? And then the last type of bookseller uh, I call the servant, and that, that's what I strive to be um, because in my mind, you know, serving people is what makes money. 
That's just the case, right? If you serve people, you win. Whoever serves people the most gets the most thank you cards. And by thank you cards, I mean dollar bills, okay? Because Dan Miller, I'm, I'm sure someone said it first, but Dan Miller says that uh, dollar bills are like thank you cards, okay? And um, in, a, in, in, a, in a society like ours in the United States, when people pay you, it's voluntary. They think that they value whatever you're giving them more than that dollar bill, okay? And so, what, and so to get more dollars, you serve more people and you serve the people that you serve better, okay? And here's the thing about depending upon an Amazon platform, because we're all working for Daddy Bezos, right? That's, that's the truth of the matter. Um, but if you serve people in your community, they're your customers, and you, you're building a brand, a brand that's yours, okay? And we get into that at the, in the workshop. So you definitely want to check that out if you're more if you're interested in all that. In fact, we build a whole business from scratch towards the end of the workshop. So we talk about how you can have your own servant-based business uh, in 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 the workshop. And you know, I think that it, it's it's important for us to to move past the way that we traditionally think of business and sales as being you know, trying to force something upon somebody or how do we get people, you know, in the door. I mean, you know, I hear that from other bookstores that I, people that own bookstores that I talk to about, you know, customers getting them in the door and, and as though they're like just cattle, right? As though that they, they're not actual individual human beings, right? Um, and we have to, in, in our whole lives, we're always in sales. Everything that we do, is in sales, but uh, we have to start thinking about people as people and how we can take care of each other. That's what, you know, that's what life's about. And selling stuff is no different, okay? In fact, selling stuff, I mean, that's where if you do that right, if you serve people, um, that, I mean, that's gonna set you apart in a big, big way. And um, people can see that, right, if you care about them. You know, there's, there's guys at this, my, you know, my staff in the store will, you know, tell people like, hey, you know, that this is a great book that you can, you know, this is a great book for you. This is something that's great. This is something that you'll like. Or they'll say, um, you know, oh, that if, if they know the kind of, they know their customer. So they'll know, hey, uh, these are the kind of books that they like. And if they bring up a book and they'll say, is this, is this book like the other ones or what? I mean, they'll say, hey, no, 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 don't buy that one. That's not going to be your style. Check this out instead. Or, you know what I mean? Like they don't try to force the next sale. You know, it's all about the customer experience. And that, that, even that sounds, even that sounds like insincere, the customer experience. But if you dig into it, right, it's about, you know, what, what kind of place can we build for people that they can come here and have have an experience that's different than Barnes and Noble or, you know, competitor bookstores or Walmart or, or the mall or whatever. Can we make something special? And, um, and you can, you definitely can. And so I, I hope that this is helpful. Um, I know that it's difficult. Everything moves so fast and we're always going from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. But if we can stop and really think about how to serve people in our community and whatever you're, whatever you're doing, right? If we can think, really stop and think about serving people, um, we can see how, how much more effective you're going to be at whatever your goals are. Um, because it's not a zero sum game. Okay. You, you know, it's not a zero sum game when you're selling anything. When people come in here and they buy a book for three or four bucks, that's not all they're doing. We have time to build, to build relationships with these people, to build brand equity, right? To build, to be part of their lives, okay? And that's, that's what we're all trying to do. And that's what I'm trying to do with you guys right now, right? Is to tell you guys the stuff that I know so that you guys can do better at whatever you're doing and I can be part of your lives in that way, Okay? So, I mean, that's what, that's what all of us are doing all the time. And so if we just recognize that as the truth, 
um, we can become better at it. Okay, so hopefully, um, hopefully uh, that that's this has been helpful for you guys today, and I definitely hope that you guys can join us, uh, a thousand of your closest friends, uh, as of count, as of the count right now at the Bus Proof Workshop. Uh, you can come and hang out with us, and uh, and at session two of that is going to come up on Wednesday, which as I'm recording that, it's going to be tomorrow. I'm hopefully put, I'm hopefully going to put that out today. I'm hoping to put the podcast out today, which is a Tuesday. So hopefully that goes out and you can see session one and then session two as well on Wednesday, which hopefully should be tomorrow. Again, all this time travel stuff is getting weird. Um, So hopefully that made sense to you guys. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. And remember, as always, make today count. That's all for this episode of the Bust Proof Business Podcast. Be sure to point your browser to bustproofworkshop.com to sign up for our mailing list and to get your opportunity to enroll in one of our specialized seminars, guaranteeing you continued results in typical bust proof fashion. Thanks again for joining us. We look forward to taking your business to the next level right here on the Bust Proof Business Podcast.